All right, guys, so today we're going to be doing a couple little things with the Ram, kind of final touches almost, little extra details that will be taken care of in this video that will help make the truck look a lot better. Now, as you guys know, I replaced the bottom skid plate here with a black one. It's not super easy, but since it's black, I was kind of hoping it was gonna come without the holes for the front license plate. So as you can see here, they're still there and they're not like horribly visible or anything, but I, I looked it up real quick to see if there was anything that would fit in there. And sure enough, I found something that will fit and they are extremely adequately priced. I got a bag of 50, I believe. No, 30. So there's 30 pieces in here, but they are a perfect fit for those holes. So these ones in my case are black. So as you can see there, they're kind of like a textured black will be perfect for that front splitter because the front splitter is also a textured black. Now, for those of you out there saying, well, Justin, wait a second. My Ram TRX doesn't have a black skid plate. Mine is more of a gray. And I have an answer for you guys as well. You can actually buy these same things and get them painted to match your gray skid plate. I will put it up here on the screen because I don't recall exactly what the color is called, but I'll also link it in the description down below where you can have someone paint them for you and then pop them in. Either way, for me, since this is black already, it's gonna be a super easy mod. Literally just pop these things in and let's get to it. So. This is one of them right here. I'm just gonna kind of put it right there and pop it in and that's that. So very, very cool looking already. Like you could see, it's still kind of visible. It's kind of there, but it's much less visible than for fairly large holes. So anyway, let's get the rest of these done. Pops in real easily, would pop out pretty easily too because you wouldn't really have to try to spare these things for the fact that you can get a bag of 30 of them for I believe it was six or $7. You could literally destroy these things getting them out if you ever had to. And of course the last one, very easy stuff guys. So just like that, it looks a little bit more finished, a little bit more official or detailed. I like it, I like it a lot. So what we're gonna do next guys is I'm gonna pop that hood and we're gonna take a look at the Mighty Mouse catch can that I installed a couple weeks back and see how much oil it's caught since the install. Now I only have about a thousand miles, maybe a little bit more on this. So I'm curious to see how much oil will be in that catch can. I just opened it up. It's been on here for about a thousand miles and this is what I caught in there. So not a whole lot, but definitely not nothing. And that's only a thousand miles worth right there. So it's, it's definitely doing something in there. And I mean, otherwise that would have made its way through the engine. So I think this is a thumbs up for this thing. I will of course continuously give updates as we, time goes on, but for now, yeah. I'm liking it. All right, guys, so the clip you saw there earlier is actually from about two months ago. So these plugs here are installed and they've been holding up really well over the last two months. The oil catch can has caught a good bit of oil, something that I would not have wanted to go back through the engine. Now, we're gonna talk a little bit more about some small mods that really add up to the big finalized picture here. So let's jump into the next one. Our next mod comes to us from the user fast underscore TRX over on Instagram. He actually makes some custom badges for the truck and we're gonna be replacing ours here in a second. So as you can see here, you got the stock 6.2 liter supercharged with his badge right on top. And yeah, it is a gloss black with a matte back finish. So it kind of fits my my spec here a little bit better in my opinion. There's no other red on the truck and I think that that looks absolutely fantastic. So the benefit to these are that they can be made in any any color situation that you want. So if you had a red TRX, this makes sense. This makes sense to leave it alone. But if you have a blue one, that should be blue. If you have a black one, it should be black and so on and so forth. Now this is obviously my opinion, but you can get them done pretty well. So if you reach out to fast underscore TRX, I'll put it all in the description down below, he can make these for you. now. From what I could tell, he can actually make these for pretty much any car out there, not just the TRX. So if you have something other than a TRX you want custom badges for, he can make those too. Now you can see these are an exact replica. So we'll just remove the stock ones and replace them with these ones. And yeah, they're gonna fit the black on black on black look of my truck a lot better. So let's get into removing those. So first step to remove the stock badges here, we're gonna just clean up the area, make sure there's no dirt around it. That way we can mask it off and make sure that the new emblem goes on in the same exact spot. With everything cleaned up, we're gonna go ahead and mask off a couple spots of the logo here so we know exactly where it goes once we take off this particular one. So we'll start with this angled part of the six right there. So I know exactly where that piece will fall into. I'll put one on the back right by the D so we know exactly where the logo ends. I'll put a piece on the bottom and I'll put a little piece on the top too. So just like that. Now we're gonna go ahead with some fishing string. 
We're gonna work it behind the logo here, just pop off the stock one, clean up any tape that's left over and start in with the install of the new one. I know some of you may ask why I'm not heating this up first. I actually recently had the truck running and it's all still pretty warm. So I don't really think I have to, but we'll see what happens here. Fishing string will hurt the hands a little bit, so a pair of gloves might be a good idea. About halfway through this, you're gonna notice there's a little pin that actually keeps this aligned right about here. You'll have to pull it up a little bit, get this fishing string worked in behind it to continue. And there's one right there as well. So we should be able to just pull this off now. And you can see on the back side here, the pins I was talking about, there's one there and there's also one up here in the front. Kind of locating pins. So people in the assembly line could just plop it right in place. But now you can see a good bit of tape left behind. We'll go ahead and remove that and then get it ready for the new piece. With it off the truck, you get a little bit of a better idea of what we're doing here. So obviously this is more of a red and gray. This is a black and matte black finish. Now, obviously lighting is pretty important with this and it's a lot glossier too, so you can see that. So very gloss black with a matte black finish behind it. It's gonna go better with my particular truck. Obviously your mileage may vary depending on if your truck is red, this is perfect. If it is black like mine, I would recommend something more like this because it just, just looks better in my opinion. But like I said, the person on Instagram can actually make these in pretty much any color you want. So reach out to him if you're interested in getting that extra little bit of customization on your truck. But we're gonna go ahead and get this installed now. So two things I've noticed. Number one, you probably don't need to mark out any of this area with painter's tape because it's actually smooth right there. So it's kind of going to tell you where this thing has to go anyway. And number two, just using your finger to roll up double-sided tape is probably the easiest and fastest way to get it off. Just using my thumb to kind of push it along. And with everything cleaned up, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. There's a little bit of an outline there where the actual emblem went. It's smooth, whereas everything else is kind of textured. So you'll be able to see where to put the new one at. And before we adhere anything, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the entire area down with uh, isopropyl alcohol, just to make sure none of the goo gone or anything is left on the surface that will stop the new one from sticking. Now the new one is just kind of double-sided tape on the back, but it's a lot thinner. So you can just kind of start peeling at the back of the tape like this and remove it just like that. We'll go ahead, line it up and stick it down. Just like that. So it's lined up. I'll just go ahead and press it into place. Really easy to line up whenever you can clearly see where it goes. So just like that, she is done. And yeah, I think that looks massively better. So even though the truck's not clean, that's kind of the before. And then of course, over on this side, a little cleaner, the after. I think that just looks a lot more fitting for the truck looking the way it does. Yeah. Pretty nice. I like it a lot. I'll go ahead and remove the passenger side and then we are all set. And just like that guys, both sides are done. So driver's side and passenger side, both complete, both a little more fitting of the trucks look like I said. In my situation, this is a blacked out truck for the most part. Shiny, glossy black, and of course the little bit of matte black in there too. So definitely fits the look a little bit more. Like I said, if you're interested, check out the link down below. You can grab a set for yourself, customized however you would like. With the badges done, we're gonna come around the back to number four on this list. And that is going to be the add-on blacked out American flag tow hitch cover. So this literally just pops in and pops out. So if you do need to use the tow hitch, you still can. This is only a couple bucks on Amazon and I really like the look of it because again, it's that matte black with the shiny black appearance. And of course it gives you that real America type theme to it. Now with that being said, this is number four and coming up a little bit higher on the truck is number five and it's gonna be some more America themed stuff. This is a vinyl you can buy straight from Amazon and of course it fits perfectly on that back sliding glass and yes it gives it that matte black with gloss black appearance once again so that's what this whole truck thing is all about in my opinion kind of finishing up making everything look as good as possible and guys 
I absolutely love the back end of this truck. It's just so freaking beefy. It's, I, I love it. These added little touches give that America appearance and obviously help finish out the gloss black, matte black appearance that I'm going for here. Now this does work on other colors as well. So if you do have a blue or red truck or white, it doesn't matter because these are kind of black looking on the back here anyway. So it still does that matte black, gloss black contrast. Now, as I said earlier in the video, guys, all these will be linked in the description down below. If you're interested in getting some of this stuff for yourself, check out the links down below grab this and help finish off your truck for the next one we come into my garage guys because it is actually the key so the key fob carbon fiber case it's actually a faux carbon fiber but it actually helps protect the key and makes it look really cool in the process i know a lot of you out there are going to hate me for this but this was only a couple bucks and it's better than no protection on the key fob plus it looks kind of cool with the level two carbon fiber on the interior yeah and it doesn't hurt to check out the hpo key tags either you can get these with the american flag or your choice of corvette stuff but obviously this is more of a trx thing so yeah get the flag either way this is a really cool cheap little addition to the truck that just helps make it a little bit cooler and i'm gonna throw a sixth one in here as an honorable mention because i just recently got this in the center or uh, armrest here you if you open it up you can actually see the divider in here from amazon and i've been pretty happy with this so far it holds everything pretty well in place but i do put my microfiber right on top of everything just to make sure nothing gets shifted around too much and it is a really nice organization piece so if you guys are interested again all of the links will be in the description down below but that's going to pretty much wrap up today's video guys so if you liked what you saw please smash that thumbs up button let me know you're liking the content so i can keep creating this kind of stuff for you guys i am a detail kind of person so the little pieces of the puzzle add up to the big final piece in my opinion and the badges and the bumper plugs and everything that we went over today all add up to what i think is a really really nice looking truck so once again everything is in the description down below if you haven't subscribed yet guys please do i'm going to have loads of trx content coming you are not going to want to miss and as always i will catch you in the next upload